I really wanted to highlight uh, this report here, this article here, which is an opinion piece by Grant Shapps, a conservative MP, of course. Uh, disrupting, disruptive school strikes should be declared illegal. And he was having a real rant uh, about how my children's education was really being damaged by the, the strike one day. Well, one day of strike action, uh, as opposed to how many, uh, uh, many non-pupil days do, do pupils have to put up with uh, if he's arguing that a day off of school is disrupting. Uh, uh, disrupting children's education. And really, uh, the point that I wanted to make here was uh, the teacher should be entitled to take action if they feel is necessary. But at the end of the day, it's not teacher's action which is resulting in falling educational standards. And really, for me, uh, one of the things Things that that sort of highlights this is uh, if you go back, back to to what ch children were reading uh, in in the nineteenth century uh, and look at the text density and look at the qual uh, the, the standard of the language that they were that, that they were reading. If you go back to, to uh, the the pamphlets. That were used to organize people for the American Revolution and look, look at the text density, look at the, the standard of the language that they were expected to read, and this was uh, considered to be for mass consumption, uh, and look at the standard of reading and the standard of literacy in uh, 21st century Britain. And 21st century United States, and then ask the question: Has, has, has have the standards of education in this, in this country got anything to do with teachers going on strike for one day? I, I don't think so. So I think Grant Shapps needs to get uh, to wind his neck in a bit and. and wise up. Uh, but let's just remember what this is really about. Uh, I will not let you destroy our, our edu children's education. That's my job, says David Cameron. And uh, that's absolutely the case, I think. Yeah, and we should also remember, of course, that Michael Gove was the uh, the man saying, well, we, we don't want an investigation into uh, a pro pro proper investigation into paedophilia in the establishment and Westminster. So, so if we look at who's got close to our children, many of them very unsavoury people, and uh, they there is growing evidence which, which simply says the objective has been to dumb down uh, children in Britain in order that, that uh, it's easier for the ruling elite, such as Mr. Cameron, to do his stuff. Um, we'll continue to report on that.